The next step will be to remove the cover from the main panel. But first, we want to be sure to turn off the main circuit breaker. This will cut off power to the entire house, and you may need a flashlight from here on. Please be aware that even though this panel is off, there is still live power at the top where the utility power comes in. Keep your hands away from these locations. To mount the transfer switch, we're first going to choose a 3 quarter inch knockout in the main panel. The wires from the transfer switch can come into the main panel anywhere on the sides or bottom. I've chosen a bottom knockout location to make it easier to bring wires up either side in the main panel. Now we can assemble the conduit. We have either a straight or a right angle connector available for the panel end of the assembly. I'm going to use the right angle connector for my bottom knockout. The flexible conduit can be shortened with a hacksaw if you want. Just be sure to replace the plastic bushing before assembly. After the knockout is removed, I'm going to pull the wires from the transfer switch into the main panel. I've installed a temporary screw over here to hang the transfer switch while we do this. Put the conduit fitting into the opening and attach the nut. Be sure not to overbend the flexible conduit. Now we can mark the mounting holes for the transfer switch. The bottom holes are inside the wiring compartment of the transfer switch. You'll need to remove the front panel first. Use the appropriate screws or anchors to securely mount the transfer switch. 